Hi guys and welcome to this very special YouTube where we are going to be introducing a new product and we're going to be releasing this on Christmas Day, I think it is Christmas Day? Christmas Eve? So if you're watching Christmas Day or even Christmas Eve, very Merry Christmas to you guys. So what have we got here? These are our fantastic new cat eye powders, which we are calling Polar Powder, Chris named it. So we have a selection of 12 different powders and they all have different things about them, which is fantastic. So we have a holographic one, which is right here. We have some that are two-tone and some that are shifting colors as well. So I'm just gonna try and pop them into their little categories right here. There we go, okay. So over this side, we have the ones which are not shifting. So these are just one color. And then over here, we have our chameleon style color shifting ones, which we've decided are our favorite. And we look at that. Isn't that just absolutely stunning? Is the, pic is the camera picking that up really well? Just give it a wow. Just wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man, this, this is just about to make everyone's New Year's Eve so oh, well, this you, one which ones are our favorites this one these two we've decided i think are our favorites um so this one is the um blue purple shift and then this one over here is the blue green purple shift if i'm remembering correctly so this one's a three-way shift and we think that this one might be our favorite we also really love the um adele said her favorite is emerald yeah which this one nice spicy green this one mm, yeah look at that beautiful so this one is not a shifting one it's a single color one and um, we've got two silvers well one is silver and one is steel um just to so know these all popped on black underneath popped on black and the way that they're going to appear depends entirely on what you put underneath them and what you do with your magnets so we've got all of our powders here 12 different ones as i said and they come in cute little pots like this name underneath we have also got your magnet, which you're going to need to use them. And then we have two other very important things. You're thinking they're powders, how do I use these? So we have a cute little dappen dish where you can mix up your product. And then we have a little scoop, which is rubber and flexible on the end, scoop and a spatula, which are perfect for scooping up the powder and mixing them into your top coat as well. So the way that we are recommending to use them is going to be mixing the powder into top coat and then applying that straight onto your color. So the great thing about that is that it means you can combine it with your current system. Um, a lot of brands don't have um, cat eye gels yet, including us, and making the cat eye gel, it's a really, really long process because any new color that we create needs to be stability tested. And we saw a lot of you guys were desperate for cat eye products, so we thought this was the easiest way for us to bring them out. Um, so, you're gonna mix it up yourself. So there's nothing to it than to do it, as Katina would oh, say. Oh, nice <laughs> Yeah. I also go as far as to say as the the, the opportunities are endless because you're the opportunities yourself. are endless you could also mix them into colors and um, we wouldn't recommend mixing them into like a really creamy opaque color because the gel is much thicker and so it's going to stop the the powder from moving more freely and um, so something such as a glass color is going to be a really really good one to use but for maximum effect you're going to want to use a top coat something else we could try we've not tried yet is using it with base coat oh yeah yeah um, yeah, and then you could layer your glass colours on top of that, which I see a lot of people do. You, you want to do it live on YouTube? Of course, let's not. Let's, I mean, let's, let's not. Let's <laughs> not. <laughs> <laughs> that was the involuntary thing. Yes, uh, yes, let's not. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do then, if we're going to do that, is I'm just going to... Because just end up not working there now. I'm just going to quickly pop this. So what I see a lot of people doing is that um, they put the cat eye on the bottom and then put a glass colour on the top. Oh, yeah. And then it makes it 4D. Yes, that is very nice. Good idea. I'm just going to quickly just colour pop this just so I can try it with the base coat and see. So are you using Noir? I am using Colour Noir, which is our fantastic one coat black. Um, if you want it to be one coat. Um, and I have also painted Hannah's nails here. They are prepped and ready. If they look a little bit dull, the reason is um, I just flicked dust all over them after perfectly painting them. So I've had to wipe them off with IPA, but do not do that unless you do the same thing, okay? So we're not recommending that you wipe them with IPA before you do this. I had no choice. Um, okay, so if we're gonna do the base coat thing, do you know what, I'm just gonna top, I'm just gonna do her nails first and then I'll do the experiment afterwards. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as you can see, we've already used this. I'm just gonna get our little pops out the way. And I think we are going to use 
the favorite. The triple shift or? The triple shift. triple shift. So that's the green, blue, purple shift. That's what we're gonna use. I'm just gonna pop all of these other little guys away. They don't have cool names or? They don't have cool names because time. <laughs> time. It's a lot to think about as well. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our top coat and we are just gonna decant some into um, into our dappin dish. I mean, you can also use something like the back of a tip box or things like that as well, which we had been doing, but we thought that if we do it this way, it means that um, Could you, can, you can use it, you can pop that lid over and you can continue to, to use it. Also, um, if you make any custom colors for your clients, you thought, oh, actually, I really like that color. Um, you can mix them up in here and keep that as well. So, top tip. Okay, so now we've decanted some of our top coat. We are going to, oh, look at that. We are going to decant some, oh. <laughs> um, Have you seen this before, Hannah? Because this is brand new information to me. So I believe some of the powder. So the question is how much powder? We don't want to use too much, but we don't want to use too little. So I think for a full hand, probably going to go with about this much. Oh. Whoa. It's nothing. It's nothing. But it'll last you forever. <gasps> How satisfying was that? And then we're just gonna use the same spatula and we're just gonna mix, mix, mix. In fact, do you know what I'm gonna say? I think that was a bit much. A bit much powder. So what would happen if it's too much? Just add some more top coat. Okay. Nice and easy. So you can see I hardly use any and that's gonna last you forever. Um, I'm just gonna pour a little bit more of this top coat in just to, just to loosen it up a little bit. We'll probably end up using it all on the Excel length of tips, yeah. yeah, we're doing Excel tips, so you're probably not wrong there, Hannah. Oh, it's so fun as well, you know, you get to really play around and express your artistic side. So we're just gonna use our spatula here just to give that a really good mix up, make sure there's no chunks or anything like that. Okay. Something that I've seen, obviously you can wipe this on the side, but something I've seen Laura doing recently is just wiping it straight on the nail, but I'm just gonna take my brush. So I'm using our gel applique brush, another great use for it, and I'm just gonna wipe the excess off in here. Okay, so I'm now just going to apply this straight onto the nails. So if you've never used cat eye before, what I would say is you kind of want to cure it as soon as you, you've got your design on it because it can sort of move back. Um, so a good way to overcome that is to flash cure it. Also, you can sort of keep going backwards and forwards with it, apply more, etc. Um, it is very much a practice situation with cat eye. Um, and even we've not mastered it ourselves yet, so just so. You guys know, no judgment there. Okay, so now I'm gonna take our magnet and the magnet's gonna, it can create different shapes and things depending on what side you use it on. Again, it's just gonna be about a play around. So a good way to start is just at the very side there. Oh, what is Ooh, like magic? It's um, like fireworks. I'm just going to turn the magnet around and just do a different side. Whoa. That is wild. I think the possibilities are actually endless. Totally endless. And depending upon how you hold the magnet, does that Yeah, so look at that. Can you see that that's giving like a sharp line? Yeah, yeah so if you take it away like really quick, it holds it right there. That will just hold it right Rather than like drag it. So it's just a case of playing around, finding what suits you and your clients, what designs you want to do. That's a good thing about this magnet is you can do all sorts of different things with it. I think the half and half's really cool. Yeah. I'll see if you can get, get it just running up the spine. Mm. So it does like lack on our side. Mm. Also, I think you must give some sort of caveat that you must only spend one minute per one. I know, one now minute. I'm mesmerised and I'm like, uh, I think you've lost me. It's when the ADHD kicks in. Oh, <laughs> I'm having too much fun, guys. Just do this forever. Okay, so once you've got something that you're you're kind of happy with, sometimes as well you can kind of lose it. If you've never experienced Kai before, it is something that takes a wee while to get used to, just so you know. 
um, you really do need to have a play around with it. But you can sometimes lose it, but then like, yeah, I've kind of lost it. You're like, where is it? Where is it? And then you can just find it again. Okay, you pull it back. So it is just something that you really need to have to play around with. Okay, we're gonna have to make a decision here and... Two minutes later. <laughs> Three like, hours later. We, we need to make a decision here. Do we? Do we? <laughs> I'm really just having a play and seeing all the different things that you can do. I think like, it's, for me, this is, like Laura said earlier on, we were having a meeting. This is perfect for New Year's. When the fireworks are going off. Yeah. I'm flash curing. I'm shining. flash curing, when guys. You've got your sparkler. I did something that I thought I quite liked, so I'm flash curing it. So when that comes down to deliveries, so you guys on YouTube are forced to see this. It's going to be available on sale from Ooh. whenever you see this video. I think I've made up way too much of this, but that's fine. Okay, so now we're going on with the second one, guys. So we flash cure it so it will hold those magnetized particles in the design that you want it to be. Um, I think that's just the best way to do it, to be honest. And again, you can make it, you can add um, more powder if you want it to be really intense, less I, powder. I just, I'm throwing out ideas because this is the first thing I've seen it. Could you do ombre and allow the magnet to really make it blend? Like I've seen people do a French with it. It's just about how talented you are with the magnet. The good thing is you can layer it, so if you want to do it, you could do that colour first, cure it, and then go in for a second colour. Possibilities are as wild as your imagination. Absolutely, yeah. This is... I love this. This is moon drops all over again. <laughs> so we saw Laura and I saw this girl do this crazy thing, and she went like underneath. She looked like she had Jedi super. <gasps> Did you see that? Yeah, and it. she went like up to it, and then she went like side. She does Ooh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like a cross. We should, should we do it? Should keep it? I think we should on, keep it. On the camera, it looks completely different from what it looks like in the Yeah, the, the camera picks it up so differently, even in the photos I've just wow. taken. Uh, it almost looks a bit gritty on the camera, but it looks very smooth in real life. You guys are gonna love this. Oh. With, with, with Hannah, I'm sure she won't mind if we use her as a bit of an experiment to try different shapes and designs on each nail, will you? Hannah, you're gonna be mesmerized by your nails. I'm already. I feel like I've got like almost a tear in my eye. I'm quite an emotional person, <laughs> but I'm just looking at it and I'm like, oh my god, it's so beautiful. It's the perfect way to end this year. <laughs> but as Laura said as well, you can also layer it. Um, Laura's been talking about people like layering with chrome, so experiment with moon drops, that's something that we will do. Um, I've definitely made up too much of this, just so you know. So Chris, if you're really mesmerised, if you'd like a set, then... I'm just thinking what other applications you can use this for. You could just leave it like that, couldn't you? Right, should we see what else we're going to do, guys? Mm. I want to try that underneath thing again. Oh. <laughs> so good. <laughs> It's like, like looking into the solar system. Whoa! What's that? Oh, you made a circle. That, that's that, that's a rain spell. That's a rain spell. No, I don't want to keep, keep that. <laughs> that's a rain spell. <laughs> that was a rain spell. <laughs> that was like a perfect line. Yeah, you can make a perfect line. Look. Make a look up. <laughs> I'm not very good at it. I'm just. I need to write this one. Oh, oh, keep that. It's like a ripple of a wave. That's, that's, that's a good one. That a good I touched one. it. So if you touch it, just put it back. Give it a wee paint again. It's all the ways you could just do it forever, couldn't it? So different parts of the magnets do different things? Yep. Oh. So now Is that I'm because it's the magnet's polar? Polar powder? Oh my god, you're so smart. <gasps> <gasps> oh, look at this one. This one's half and half. Oh. I've done away half and half. I didn't actually know that's why it was called polar. So if you don't have to pull a question. If your client wants So guys, look at this. Look at this. From here it doesn't look like anything and then whoa. Wow. I was gonna say if your client wants this for New Year's Eve nails, if they order it now, will they get it in time? Good chance. Yeah, it's Especially a very if you live in the UK yeah. or Northern Ireland. Um if you live in Europe or North America, it's probably no. unfortunately going to be after just the way the postal service works. Obviously, with most people, they're not going to have nails this length, um, so obviously this is taking me a little longer to paint because there is a vast distance to cover. But the effect is much yeah. better on longer nails. 
we've got more room to play with. More room for activities? Can we do the layer thing that Laura suggested just to see how that works out? What, a double layer? Yeah. Sure. I just feel like now we're into the experiment thing. Okay, we're done. I don't know what I want to do, but then I forgot the whole thing was magnetised, so... Sorry, I keep on pulling my finger back so that I can... <laughs> <laughs> it is very much just you got to play around, find out what you like. So here's a question. Why does a magnet not suck it off the nail? Because it's in the gel. It would suck it off the nail if you put it in the powder. Gotcha. Because it's got the gel to cling to, it doesn't. Ah. And that's why it's gravity. Gravity. <laughs> <laughs> that good thing, gravity. Can't even see it but oh, wow. Making art. With this this little bit of the magnet makes lines. Can make Ooh. skinny lines. Let's see. That's why I suggest the make the very slow. Go. <laughs> Taking a broken heart and turning it into art. Is something I seen in a journal. Oh, I might have seen that in a journal as well. I could just play with this all day, to be honest, guys. I've got enough here for several sets of nails. I just wish the camera would pick it up slightly better. Does it not? I think it's, it's too intense. I want to try like the French. Like, could you just do like a very? Ugh, I, I managed to do a French on my nails, and I can't remember how I did it. Mm. Did you maybe paint a French? Let, let's see, let's just paint a very basic French. Not even like a French, but because we're going to be able to move the powder. Put too much powder, too much. The thing is, see if you just painted it on like half and half and then dragged the middle part of it up towards to make it to create a French without it. Well, I, I literally did it on my, on my own thumb the other day. But I'm not sure how I did it. Let's do this under the <laughs> My mummy. <laughs> That's too good. It's Where's it gone? It's gone. It's oh gone. my god. It's gone. It's back. It's back. That is insane. Oh. I mean, that's oh. really delicate on a huge nail. But it's so mesmerizing. It's beautiful, isn't it? Let's see if we can try and... I feel like that effect on a wee short nail would be really cool. Beautiful, oh, yeah. yeah. Even this just as a colour is lovely, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Before you even make it's like aquamarine. So what, what would happen if you did other colours? Like the base colour? Hmm? I'm just thinking of like other base colours that yeah. go really well. Well, some ones go with some better than others. Uh, I found that the silver works really good on the black, but not as well on lighter colours yeah. because they're too close to each other. You're better to do it on a contrasting colour, I find. See, I was thinking doing red or green on red or green, if you know what I mean. Yeah, but I mean for the silver. Um, but right, right. yeah, so if you, did, if you did the red on top of a dark red, that would be beautiful. Or, the or, green, or, or green on top, top of a red. red for Christmas mm -hmm. with yeah. the but I do feel like the black is just the best. Oh my god. So you know how you asked earlier if it would magnetise under somebody's actual finger? No way, does it? Yeah, it does. <gasps> See? What? That's crazy. Isn't it? Too busy watching this, not enough. I shall focus on filming. Could you, and this is going to sound weird, could you just get a client to do whatever they want? The client? Yeah. Yes, because the client is the professional. <gasps> oh my god, look at that wee line, that's perfect. I was trying to that's make a like French. That's like when the, the moon, the, what do you call that thing? The clips. Mm. Total clips of the heart. <laughs> do you know, actually it would be really cute to let your client have a wee play about yeah, with it to get them involved. Yeah. Yeah. Also, you could just like whack it on, go to the toilet and say, just have a wee play about it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm away. Do whatever you want. <laughs> I'm seeing if I can do the French. It's just finding like what parts of the magnet do what. 
Ah, he's coming back. I could see like you and your client really bonding over this whole thing, like you mixing up a little potion and then showing them the magic trick. It's a very um, unique selling point, isn't it? It is. For your business. Because it's also like custom made for them. Mm -hmm. This is not doing what I want it to do, so you can just come back now. It is just magic, isn't it? How does it come and go? <laughs> Literally, flake, flake, um, I guess, caught in the metal flake. Mm-hmm. Um, nickel? Nickel. Mm-hmm. Nickel bath. Nickel bath. So what have you got a nickel allergy? Well, if you've got a nickel allergy, then obviously it's not designed to touch your skin. All, um, cat eye gels contain nickel, that's how they're magnetised. Um, so it depends obviously on, again these aren't in contact with your skin but there is obviously the risk so it's probably not worthwhile. Or if you have a nickel allergy. <laughs> <laughs> All clients named nickel oh, not use this. Oh that's so good! I do, I think the lines are one of the best parts because yeah. it's, it looks like you've spent so much time trying to, well you have. <laughs> 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 and oh wait! This five-minute YouTube is coming to an end. Because I'm playing, guys. It's so fun. It's like whatever you want to do, you can. Okay, just... so I'm guessing this was supposed to be a bonus one, but now it's um, the full YouTube. Yeah, I am gonna kill this one in a minute. I just really want to decide on a good design for it, and I'm not sure what that is yet. Also, how nice is this going to be? Christmas is like the busiest time of a year for Neil Tech. This last week is going to be mayhem. And then you come, home, you get a package delivered to you from mail order on the after Boxing Day, and this just brings you the spirit back. right back up. You're like so excited to get back in there again after and day use after it. Day. Yeah, day well, after the day. More like the 28th, 29th, is when you're going to get your package. And then you get your spirit back because you're just so excited to play with your new toy. That's quite pretty. Mm. It's amazing. <laughs> it's like they replicate it like more than once. Boom. 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 Ah. Boom. Oh. Boom. That's like a snake. Boom. Snake mm. print. Boom. Just before I cure it, I just want to do that. Oh, turn the light on. Turn the light on. Don't mess up. Don't mess up. Ah. No, it's fine. Oh, oh. So many options, guys. So many options is what we're saying, quite clearly. Yeah. Just flash curing. Because if you don't flash cure it, guys, it will move back. So wow. we've got a different effect on every finger here. We are now just going to fully cure it. And whilst that happens, I am going to try and mix up oh no, a little bit of base coat. There we go. And just see if it affects anything, like whether we're using base coat or top coat. Uh, base coat. Here we go. I'm actually just going to use the top of this because I do have something in here. So I'm just going to use the top of this. And I'll show you, I'll show you a different colour, that's what I'll do. Can I itch my head with this? Yes. Okay. Don't mean to itch it. Yeah, it's like right there. Do I'm going to show you guys a totally you. different colour because Perfect. that would be really excellent on that to Appreciate see something different. <laughs> okay, that's you. <gasps> Beautiful. Okay, what one should we try? Where I've lost some of these. I want to do the red one because I really like that one. Where are they gone? Where are they gone? Of course, they're right here. What a muppet! Okay, so we're going to use the red yellow shift one, which is fantastic. We love this one. We just need a little tiny bit. So we're just doing one nail. So I'm just using a teeny teeny tiny bit. So we're just trying to do enough for one nail. I'm just going to use my spatula just to mix up. The spatula is great because they're flexible. It's rubber on each end. Obviously, you don't want to use a metal tool because it's going to um, the powder will stick to that. So these are perfect. Mixy, mixy, mix. What are we doing with We are trying. This oh, is base coat. Base. This is base coat. So I'm just going to scoop this all up, and I'm just going to cough on the tip. There it is. There it is. And they get to see another colour because this one is the red yellow shift, which we really love this one as well. But this is in base coat, we've not tried it in base coat before. 
I don't think it would be. I can't. It's see. funny. One camera picks up as red, the other picks up as green and gold. Yes, that's right. Oh, because it's a, shift. it's a shift. So from different angles, it is going to appear different. It's just I'm going to show this on camera, just so people can get um, like a. And I did not tell the truth. <sighs> Got a bit of fluff. Ah. Oh no. Oh, okay. Okay, we ready for the magic, guys? You're gonna love it. <gasps> mm, which side are they? Works just as well with the Works baseball. just as well, yeah. Exactly. I can't wait to see what you guys create with all this. Because it's gonna be a lot better than what we create, that's for sure. So you guys get to practice. Cat -eye hmm? We're cat eye noobs. We are cat eye noobs. But there's so many different things you can do with these magnets. You can use ends for something more detailed. You can use this little cross bit for a line. Oh. oh. Isn't that stunning? Nice. Super simple, like you just swiped over the top of that and it looks like you spent a lot of it. It's beautiful, isn't it? Really beautiful, that. I love it. And then you can just take it all away. Do something different. <sighs> that yeah. one hour appointment turns into a three hour appointment. You've lost all your clients for the rest of the day. You've lost all your money, so yeah. But the nails are fantastic. <laughs> and that's really the main thing. So yeah, what we found out here is that it doesn't matter if you use base coat or top coat but obviously if you've already painted the colour on the top coat is going to work nice and easy for you because it means that you don't need to top coat again. Oh look at that! The good thing is if you're already used to using cat eye it's the same thing except you just pre-mix it yourself. You just mix it yourself which means it's really versatile because you can put it into you've got endless colours well you've got 12 colours um, and you can put it into your existing system doesn't matter if you what brand you're using doesn't matter if you're using nail order or um, any other brand. Look at that. So just to be clear, we've got 12 colour, 12 Sorry. pigments. Yep, 12 colours. 12 colours. You have a little rubber stick. Spatula. Spoon. Spatula what do we call it? What did I call this? Spoon? Uh, uh, I think it's called a spoon. spoon. Yep. Mixing, mixing bowl. You've got your magnet. Yep. Magnet. And you have got your little dappin dish. So these are all new products. Are they going to be available as a package? They are available as a kit, yes. Okay. And they are available individually as well. Do you know what price is? Yes, each powder is seven pounds individually. If you buy it as a kit, I can't remember what I put it as. Uh, so seven times twelve, maybe that's a couple. It's it it it's a good saving. It's a good saving on it where you get everything included. Um, these little guys, this uh, magnet's three pounds. This guy's one pound fifty. This guy's one pound fifty. Oh, you're giving away. Easy peasy. Um. So yes, endless opportunities, and we can't wait to see what you create. And I think this is great as well because if you've already, if you're mixing colours, mixing things, it keeps it, you know, the light free from it, and you can use it again later. Do you clear? How would you clear that out? Just brown um, water? Or? Oh, just just use some IPA, your wipes. wipes yeah. I actually used Aston in it earlier, okay. so that was fine. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Can't wait to see what you create with the cat eye. Go and check that out on our website now. We have called it Polar Powder, but if you search cat eye, you should be able to find it as well. As always, if you enjoyed that, give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe so that you're notified next time we release a video. Bye, guys, and have a lovely Christmas.